Hi, again, this is my second video today. And today, in this video, hi, I want to talk about vibration, energy. How do you know if you're a high vibration individual? Well, odds are you usually get shit on a lot. You get drained a lot. You're always being taken advantage of. Your thoughts are constantly on everybody but yourself. If that's the kind of person you are truly, where you're always worried about how other people are, whether they're not like nosy, not like a n nosy, you know, person, but actually somebody who's worried about somebody having a food, wanting them to be clean, wanting them to have a safe place. You're always wanting to, you're always giving, you're always donating, you're always generous with your time and energy. You're very loving, thoughtful, and when people are around you, they actually feel good. They, you make them feel better just because of your energy. You, you run at a higher vibration. And a lot of times, when you're a low vibration human being, those are the people who are usually just complete scumbags for the most part. They're really selfish, narcissistic human beings. They're always out for themselves. They're always out for what they can get, what they can get from other people. They, they're users, they're manipulators, they're liars. That's a low vibration. It's, I mean, it's, you, can, you, know, you can use it whatever terms you want to describe these two different levels of human beings, but it's a, it's, it is. It's a vibration. I, it's an energy. Either way, you can feel the energy of, you can feel when somebody's bad. I've, you know, I like to say when I walk in the room, if I don't glow it up, there's, some, there's a problem. You know what I mean? When I don't bright, I mean, if people aren't attracted to me when I walk in the room, that's a problem. Not because I, I need the attention, but because I'm not doing something right then. Because that's the whole... Most people that are high vibration, when they walk in the room, people are like, who the hell is that? You know, because they usually... You're not just looking good, you're feeling good. Because you love yourself. And so, and you're confident. And so, in that confidence, it's not cocky. It's just loving yourself enough to where you know you're good enough. It doesn't matter what anybody says. You could, you could have been shit on your whole life, and I have been, trust me. I've been put down my whole life. Every time I even showed any talent or sign of abilities, it was just, you know, it was dismissed. Jealousy. People, not everybody's talented, unfortunately. Not everybody's going to run high vibration. When they see high vibration people, they can't compete with it. They can't, they can't jive with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Low vibration people, you can't, you can't marry a high vibration human being, put it that way. If you're a low vibing person, it's just going to be a mess. You're just going to be a user and abuser. And, and the high vibration person is not even going to give you the time of day. Most high vibration human beings do not tolerate bullshit of any kind. They don't tolerate, I don't tolerate lies. If somebody's not honest with me, what do you think? My, my biggest betrayal it was somebody who I thought was the love of my life. It was just a very powerful connection. And I didn't understand it. And I got caught up in it. And, and I was basically, you know, left for dead. So I had to deal with that. I had to deal with that and recover my energy and recover my self assure. Because, yeah, if you're, if you're already having problems, and I didn't realize a lot of my childhood issues, you know, <clears throat> healing your childhood traumas, ancestral curses, I didn't realize how bad it was for me. I, I didn't realize the trust issues I had. I've ruined, I know I've ruined a couple of really great potential relationships simply because I didn't love myself enough. I loved them, but I didn't love myself enough to where I deserved to be good. And I didn't, and I'd fuck it up in some way. And it sucks. Either I was too jealous or I was too, too smothering or whatever the hell they would call it. Or I was just, you know, or I made the mistake of, you know, Sleeping with somebody I shouldn't have slept with and ruined the relationship that way. I mean, I'm not perfect. When I was young, I was, you know, you know, you're not the same person you are when you're 20, when you're 40. Trust me. When I was 20, I was young and I was trying to find love, looking for love, looking for some kind of acceptance in, in the arms of beautiful women. And sometimes it would, you know, it would never turn out right because it was, I, like I said, I had an issue. I, was, I wasn't running high vibration like I should have. And I didn't understand that. But people were, sometimes you'll have people around you that keep you low vibration too. That's another thing. If you're surrounded by a toxic human beings that are low vibration, and you, it's all your friends, all your boys, all your, you know, your, your crew, whatever, and they're all low vibration people, 
you ain't going to get high vibration because they're going to keep you down. They're not going to want you to elevate. They're not going to want you to, to move on up because they'll be jealous. Be like, where, what, you think you're too good for us now? You get that. And yeah, you are, unfortunately. <laughs> too good for low vibration human beings. They can't run with us. It's just not the same. It just won't work. Mostly because we don't tolerate that shit. We don't tolerate the bullshit. I am beyond being bullshitted by anybody. I am like the ultimate bullshit detector. I love it. I can read through, I can see through people like glass. It's awesome. That's why people stay away from me. Nobody's going to come in my presence with bullshit and lies. Because I will straight tell them to get the fuck out of me. <clears throat> with love and light. But at the same time, yeah. When you spend your own life being crapped on. <laughs> one of my... One of my tarot readers, she's so cute. She's a young, young lady, young Nubian goddess. And she was talking about, she's, boy, she cusses a lot. She's out there, man. She's out for kicking ass, man. She's fired up. But she had a rough childhood, and she's not taking that shit. She's an empress, and she's fucking ready. To, she's got kids. She's like, anybody comes in here, my kids, I'll, I'll put them down. You go, girl. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You could be high vibration and still want to kick some ass, but you got to remember with love. Just, but you don't, most people, it's like an emperor and empress. You don't even, you don't even get into arguments with people. If you know somebody's going to try to pick a fight with you, please. No, I'm above that, babe. Move on. Kick rocks. So I'm telling you, run high. Part of it is your love for yourself. First of all, if you love yourself, you are high vibration because you automatically raise your vibration by that love that you give yourself that nobody else has given you. And once you give yourself that love, shit, everybody's going to want you. Because you're going to see this glowing human being going, who the hell do they think they are? And they're going, but I want to know who they are. I want to be around them. I don't want to touch them. I want to be in their presence. Because we make people feel better. Because we're always positive. We're always, we're caring and loving. It's easy to be high vibration and caring and loving and have boundaries. Boundaries are another important thing. You always have to have boundaries with your energy and your love. You can't let somebody suck you dry. And a lot of times you'll have karmics, low vibration human beings, toxic human beings around you, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, family members, mommies, daddies. It don't matter. They're low vibration and they'll keep you down. They'll suck you dry. They don't want you advance to grow, to glow. That's a sad damn thing, right? But like I said, we can't take, everybody can't come with me. I was told that where I'm going, they can't go. And I understand that. And I have to accept that. It's, sometimes it's a lonely road when you run high vibration. Because like I said, you don't tolerate the bullshit. And a lot of people are full of shit. Unfortunately. A lot of people are waking up, getting their money messed with. And that'll wake you up quick. <clears throat> but yeah. Just remember, love yourself, first of all. When you love yourself, you'll never be fooled. And nobody's ever going to, you're not going to need anybody else. You're not going to need affirmation from somebody else to tell you you're good enough because you already are. End of story, right? Because you are. You know why? Because I believe in you. And I love you. And God loves you. And the universe loves you. So keep that high ground and do good. And run high vibration. Keep that energy pumping. And remember, keep those boundaries up. Don't let anybody drain your energy. Exactly. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I love you. I already said that. I'm a flirt. Okay, have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.